Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to just play around with the Nile filter. The Nile filter is a very intricate and complex uh, module in the A modular system. And this is actually my third attempt to make a video about it. It defies logic. Um, the way you can combine different input signals to mix them up and uh, the way the resonance works just makes this filter almost unpredictable and chaotic. But it's very beautiful and I'm using it almost all my patches for grumbling bass lines, for crazy trickling sounds and chaotic soundscapes. It can also be used as a normal filter and I will show that too. So um, just uh, have fun and I will we'll just put in a few descriptions of what I'm doing and uh, otherwise I'll just play around and um, you know you just can just hear for yourself what this filter can do. Thanks for watching. So at first I will show you um, how the filter works in self-oscillating mode without any inputs. The magic here is to use the resonance knob to really drive up the resonance. I'm just patching in the pulse output from the VCO to demonstrate the low pass filter.
So now I'm putting the output of the VCO into the bandpass input of the null filter and we'll play around with that. So now I'm going to patch the VCO into the high pass filter input and we'll play around with that. outputs of the VCO are now patched into the three inputs of the null filter and that's quite different to the other filters which have outputs for these different filter types as you can see here.
Now I'm going to control the cutoff frequency using an LFO. I'm now going to patch the output of an envelope into the cutoff frequency. So the CV1 input receives the output of the top envelope. And I'm going to trigger that envelope from the gate output on the sequencer 16. and the um, envelope and the sequencer 16 gets a clock from the LFO. Now let's listen how that sounds like. Now I'm going to control the resonance of the filter with the CV output of the sequencer 16 so that at every step I get a different resonance value.
So now I'm going to put the CV out from the sequencer 16 into the CV2 input from the Nile filter. So this is an extra CV control for the cutoff frequency, which um, is summed together with the CV1. You can change the attenuation of the CV2 signal with the CV2 knob. And here's a little patch that I prepared earlier that uses the null filter and a few other bits and pieces like you know, the keyboard for voice and the low pack for kick. Enjoy!